If you're looking for a new PC in the PC market right now, if you want to build a desktop, things are pretty tight. But when it comes to form factors, you've got a lot of choices. You can get a desktop, which sits on your desk. You can get a laptop, which sits on your desk and your lap, anywhere that's flat and usable. Or you can get a laptop replacement, which is generally the code word for the Samsung tablet S series and the iPads of the world. And you can even get NUX, which are these tiny desktops that can actually be moved over. And if you're willing to actually spend more for an external monitor, keyboard, and mouse, you can just move it over wherever you want. They're really, really compact. But among all of this is the confusing form factor of desktop replacements. Now, when you look at all these form factors, each serve their own purpose. You get a desktop because it just sits over there, you don't want to move it much, and you got a ton of upgradeability. You can swap out anything you want because you can literally build it or you can even use a pre-built one and upgrade it on your own, unless it's a Mac, of course. So, a desktop is that. A laptop, on the other hand, if you're someone who's always on the go or if you're someone who's not tied down to a desk, then you can sue yourself a laptop. And then, if you want something like an iPad or a Samsung tab, you have to have a specific use. Like for example, if you're someone who likes to draw on an iPad, but you're familiar with iPad OS, then those are the laptop replacements. And NUX are generally like these tiny machines that are powerful enough, not really great on cooling, and not, not really having enough of expandability options, and just a small, tiny, sweet package, a desktop package. But then, what are desktop replacements? Well, these. Yeah, these chungus, big, fat thingies, they are desktop replacements. Now, you might, you might stop me over there and you might call trays, that's a laptop. What are you talking about? Well, is it? Like, can you actually keep that big of a thing on your lap? Like, if you can actually do that, you're a genius, or like, you're some guy who works out his thighs for that or something. But the whole point is that these are laptop-like creatures that are not meant for the lap. So, why? Why do I recommend people to go for desktop replacements in 2021? Well, let's have a closer look at that, shall we? So, like, first of all, what are desktop replacements? Now, these laptop-like creatures, that's like, that's how I call them, but they are literally laptops. But then, given that their sizes are over 15.6 inches, which is the typical or like the maximum size for a laptop-sized device, it becomes into a very well desktop replacement because of the dimensions of the thing. Like, like, look at it, it's huge. These things are really, really huge. And the fact that they're not just huge, they're extremely powerful in what they do as well, is also a thing that they all, they're also called desktop replacements. But you may ask, like, you can get the same thing, but for a smaller footprint or a smaller form factor. Yes, you can, but if you actually compare both of them, the model which has the higher dimensions actually wins, because if you remember, cooling is a very integral part in the PC master race. And when you take into the fact that laptops are generally made into such a small footprint, cooling is really necessary to cool all of these very powerful parts. And if I'm talking about desktop replacements, it sure should have something like an Intel Core i9 or an AMD Ryzen 9, along with some kind of RTX 3090 or an RTX 30 series graphics card. So especially just with these two main important things, you need to cool the laptop so much. And when you put it into such a smaller footprint, and given the fact that laptop GPUs are not equal to desktop GPUs, like many people already get confused with the fact that the RTX 3090 on the laptop is the same as the RTX 3090 on desktop. No, it's not. The laptop one is a little bit inferior than the desktop one. So when you take all of this into consideration, cooling is very essential in the laptop as much as it is essential on a smartphone. So 
when you give more room for cooling it's gonna do better in like peak performance rates and over long periods of time so desktop replacements are generally good for that and the fact that they are desktop replacements means you've got an added advantage of not being tied down to a desk you can also take it along but you has to you still have to keep it on the desk but the whole point that i'm trying to say is that Unlike Nux, which need a external monitor and a keyboard and a mouse to keep it running, although it can be taken over to places, but laptops, laptops are generally like a little bit less or like a little bit not so powerful as desktops. It's more of like you're putting the Nux and the desktop together, but with also the laptop, if that makes sense. But the whole point that I'm trying to say is that these are monstrous beast machines they're meant for the desk, but you can actually move them. So, Rashid, why am I recommending everybody these desktop replacements? So, like compare this to this. This is a desktop replacement, this is a laptop. Both of these, you can actually just plug in an external monitor, keyboard and mouse, and they very well become into a desktop. But, again, like I said, a laptop and a desktop replacements have one big thing that actually puts them apart, which is the bigger dimensions and the cooling. And considering the fact that Asus's ROG lineup along with their dual screen laptops, they are desktop replacements because like, come on, you can play Flight Simulator on any desktop, but on laptop, it's going to take a lot and a lot of effort. And given the fact that the, all of this I can actually carry along with me, and all of this actually is carryable and I can actually let somebody else play and the person and me we were both not tied down to one specific place yes it's not a laptop I can't play so given those given these scenarios it really does make sense to get a desktop replacement so when you get yourself a desktop replacement you're not just tied down because of the fact that you have an external monitor keyboard and mouse you can just take away all the cables and just take the laptop and go along with your peripherals. So, all of this actually connects to one thing is that if you're in today's world, which is 2021, and you're a person who's starting to want to take the outside world a little bit more seriously, I recommend you highly to get desktop replacements instead of a desktop. Or if you're someone who really cares about weight and powerfulness, just get a Mac. I really needed to state the importance of such machines because they are not being deserved um, enough appreciation. Yes, they have a mammoth price tag. Yes, they are very niche. But the fact that if you're wanting the absolute power, I would highly not recommend you to go for a desktop. It eats up more space. It doesn't need a lot of maintenance, but the fact that it's kind of gonna be not that great of an experience, even after you build it, it's gonna be a pain to actually maintain it. This is the new way to go. I clearly know that you're not gonna go and buy a desktop replacement after watching this video, but I'm just saying, consider my opinion.